What's up everyone, back again with another episode. Today we're playing Clash Royale. Now the deck that I rocked last time was so fun that I just felt like I wanted to play it again. Um, it is a modified one because the deck isn't entirely uh, the original, which is including maybe Inferno Dragon, you can switch out. You also need a Bandit, which really, really helps put the pressure on. So we're just going to play this, like, really defensively more. But you really want to play um, offensively. But because we don't have the, we don't quite have the required deck, we're going to have to do a little bit different. And... Boom! That's a connection right there. I don't know what he's waiting on. So, just off the bat right there, we took down that right tower significantly. He's going to play slow right into... Oh, wow. So that's a great pull by me right there. Now I know I got to save my Ice Golem for his... Uh, what's it? E-Barbs? That's going to deserve a Fireball in the face. Takes out the Musketeer as well as does some damage on the tower, which is exactly what we need. So we have to save our Ice Golem for his E-Bars. Okay, I was just going to say, what do I got to save my Inferno Tower for? And there goes my answer. So unfortunately for him, Supercell right here, I have all the counters to all your plays. Unless I mess up, we should be able, <clears throat> we should be able to win this fairly easily. So he decides to go split push, that's fine. I'm gonna drag him all over again over here. Teach him a lesson about kiting. And that, oh wow, he has a bandit? Unbelievable. So now we're just going to play defensive and we've got this game locked. So now he's just panicking and he's just basically spamming everything he has. Still got a, st He still has a chance if I don't mess up. Oh, that's what he was saving it for. So that's going to be a good game. I basically countered every single play of his. Send a good game. And we'll get on to the next match. <laughs> he said, wow, like he was surprised. It's just the way he was playing, I mean, kind of have to expect it. I'll actually save that just in case we get a three, three hour chest. All right. It's going to Samuel here. The starting hand here is not the best for defense purposes, so I have to go offense. He puts in the hog. I gotta defend. That's gonna be fireball. Oh wow, my fireball takes it out? Interesting right there. So we are going up against a level 8 tower, so we're even. But my fireball takes out his wizard, which is awesome. We're going to counter this. I think his main push... Is that not going to get there? No. Okay, so we're just going to play it safe. Play it cool. He put in a knight, so he might have a giant. So I have to... Oh, no, he doesn't. Just kidding. 
Okay, so we officially have all the counters to his deck. He sends in a hog. I gotta save my Inferno Tower. He got his. He has his prince. Oh wow, interesting right here. You gotta fireball that. I missed the tower, but I had to put on the pressure. He doesn't have a zap? Okay, puts in that. I'm gonna zap that, pull it again. He tries to surprise me? I don't think so. He doesn't, he doesn't guard his left side and I'm gonna be able to fireball that. What is he doing? I'm gonna zap all that. And that's gonna be a good game. Woo! So we just methodically and just basically countered every single attack from him because we were just patient we were concentrating and that my friends is two wins can we make it three in a row this deck is not even oh wow going against level 10 here we gotta be on point so let's see if we can bait something out let's see if he's really a good player all right I just gotta be patient now. Okay. Here comes our counter push. Split counter push, actually. Let's see which side he decides to guard. Alright. Interesting. I'm gonna fireball that. Okay. So he's gonna counter. He's gonna counter my battle round with the cannon, which is not good for us. I gotta save my infernal tower for his hog. All right, so here's the plan. If he's saving his cannon for my battle ram, I'm not gonna use the battle ram, and I'm just going to push with a standard. Okay, at least I made him use his hog on the other side wow that was brutal all right that right tower is just absolutely done i'm gonna have to fireball this Okay, good, good. Here's the only way I'm gonna be able to get damage in. Is if I can take out his cannon right here and somehow bait out his other cards. Oh man. Looks like I'm not going to be able to win this. Nope. Good game. Didn't quite have enough offense because, like I said, he countered my cannon with the battle ram. That's like the perfect counter. 
if I had another spam bird spam uh, card like the bandit it would have worked a little bit better but that is a pretty good episode I hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something uh, basically you just gotta pay attention and find out if he has a defense or not so two wins there we got one silver chest going and then we opened up two chests so yeah hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next one later